What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Been a little while since I picked up the camera. <sighs> yeah, I got a lot to show you guys. A lot. A lot of GC8 stuff happened. I kind of stopped filming for like a week and a half. Anyway, I got a shout out to uh, someone local here in J-Bay, Anton Petzer. He did a full cut polish on my GC8. It looks incredible. So previously I had a resprayed in Durban but it was full of orange peel. And then I got this really cool cover from uh, uh, Niso's Garage, or Niresh, uh, from Speed and Sound magazine. Transparent cover, car's nice and safe. I can do all my work, you know, sanding, all that jazz. Not have to worry about crap getting all over this car. Um, as you can see by the pictures, Anton did a, an amazing job sorting out this car. And it had a lot of imperfections even after the, the paint job. And wow, it's like... I can't show you guys now, it's just, but you can see through the pictures and all that. It looks really, really, really good. Um, so, I need to show you guys some stuff. Um, I kind of went and did, got in ahead with those two and I primed and painted it. We did that in the previous video. Uh, you didn't see much, but anyway, here's what it used to look like and that's what it looks like now. I still need to be sanded some more and prepped and all that stuff. So check this out. This is like fully done. In the previous video, I hadn't shown you guys. Sorry, a previous video I hadn't finished this. So this is like perfectly smooth. They aligned hundreds, full fiberglass, um, scoop is in. It's a, it's a bit different. So scoop kind of lives on top versus, I don't know if you can see with the plastic, yeah, you can see, versus that, that like, it, it's factory and then, okay, this looks very crappy because I'm still busy. I'm not finished yet, um, but I, I Fabricated some brackets myself. I'm I'm so chuffed. I was actually able to do all this stuff myself. Uh, fabricated, put some bolts in. Uh, I need to get a shorter bolt. That one I didn't couldn't find another short one. Uh, fiberglass needs to be cleaned up. Same story with here. That I haven't done that. So it looks good on top. Uh, I'm I don't feel like doing this right now. I will get to it. That one's got that mesh and stuff. Uh, this one's also got a little bit of mesh under there. Didn't feel like getting to it. I will get to it. Here's a dodgy intake from the last video. Oh, this I picked up for this, um, which I probably won't land up using on this car. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I do want to turbo this thing in a turbo. I've got a turbo in the cupboard. I've got most of the spare parts. I just need to get down power, which I think I found one now. Anyway, that's I, I don't know why that's there, but anyway, I just what I want to show you guys. That's what I want to show you guys. So I repaired this section here. Not complete yet. I'm almost done. Um, I was actually just messing around with this. It's not mounted yet. See? Um, I'm going to loosen those and get this all up. But that's my distribution block. We've just got a copper piece on it. So it's just literally just linking one, two, three. That's it. So that's the small wires on the side that goes to the starter motor and stuff. And then there's the rest of the wiring harness loom and that red one runs all the way at the back in there well this is not done yet and we'll get to it and then it popped up there and it's all the way to the boot I'm trying to get the weight distribution on point plus also neaten up this engine bay I want to get this engine bay looking really good I want to close up a lot of the holes uh, but not yet so when I do that whole engine swap so remember I want to blow this thing first or just get it to its limit and if it doesn't blow then eventually just pull it out and I want to throw in an EJ20 turbo so like this EJ207 EJ205 uh, not this crappy thing when it's in I'm going to do all the you know, blocking the the holes and where all the grommets were and I want to do some more cable deletes and all that stuff but now I've got two really cool mods that I want to show you guys the first one you guys if you follow me on Instagram you'd really know this oh it's dark outside I'm not opening the garage door this is a Sea West bumper like original shit you not Sea West bumper I got this from a scrapyard in Durban uh, the week that I was leaving to Jeffrey's Bay. So funny story, this all came off a single car. These lights, the JDM lights, the the lights, the, it's all from a Type R, the boot, the actual lid, the lights, the bumper, the full brakes which are in the cupboard. No, I'm lying. And 
that cupboard. Uh, the suspension, which is all down here, that needs to be fitted or refurbed all of it. That needs to be thrown on now. And a whole bunch of other stuff. All belong to this car at a scrapyard in Durban. And now, funny story, I ended up buying all the stuff, lights, beadings, um, I picked up the, the vents and the scoop from Japan, all that stuff in like August. Now when did I get this car? I only got the car in December. It was like meant to happen and funny, all the stuff was really blue. Okay, this car doesn't need to respray, they're all different colors, blue, different shades of blue. But it kind of like, I didn't know I was getting this. I'd never thought I'd ever get an NA1 and especially one that I could butcher. Uh, but it, everything, the stars align and I'll end up getting this car. Anyway, it's got an original C-West bumper. I've got a fake OMP steering wheel on here. Um, actually, I landed up buying this from a company called TokyoToms.com and the pricing looked good. It showed OMP. It said OMP. And it had the emblem at the bottom and the steering wheel had the OMP stuff. And then they sent me this crap. Anyway, I'm not one to complain. I don't want to complain. It, it works. I've, I've like actually tried bending it, like pulling it on both sides and I won't break it easily. And so it's not like eBay, eBay cheap or the AliExpress or Alibaba cheap cheap but it's cheap and it'll work. You know I did the whole thing with camera, stripped the whole dash to pieces, uh, ripped the clock spring out, the steering wheel came out, airbag, all that stuff disconnected and everything works and hunky dory. It's actually a quick release but I've locked it in place so the quick release doesn't work. So that is an Audio Dynamics uh, Fuse distribution block it takes A and L fuses, and I've already put one in the center. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it in the center. Um, we'll see. So I'll put like incoming here on the copper where my thumb is, and then that will go. So incoming, it'll be the battery where my thumb is, and then the top one will be going off to that long lead that you guys saw in the back. So this is this is gonna go in the back. I'll probably throw a kill switch in there as well. Um, having ordered the kill switch, I was actually contemplating should I put a kill switch in there with like one of those um, automatic kill switches with the 300 amp switches in it and it's got a manual lever as well so if I don't want to kill the battery thinking about putting that in the boot and then onto that and then it comes all the way back here to that distribution box I'm trying to do things properly, not like my GTR and stuff like that, that I put like speaker it was crap. I put speaker fuses and I was silly. Anyway, let's get cracking on this thing. Thank you. 
Okay, so it's a couple of weeks later after I finished the suspension. I actually ended up doing all four. I didn't do all of it on camera. Just at the rear, I figured it would be much a little madness. Um, it actually didn't turn out great. And well, the reasoning for that is I kind of broke a brake line um, properly. Broke one. It was uh, super tight, full of rust. I was uh, trying to get the spanner story and bang it with a hammer, and I ended up twisting the hard line and it completely snapped. Anyway, I found a place in a town called Humansdorp. Humansdorp. Somewhere like that. Um, I landed up driving there and I went to a company called Delco Brake and Clutch. Sorted within like five minutes. Guys sorted me out. The car's done. So the only thing I need to do is bleed the brakes. I, I can't do it on my own. I've been waiting for my wife to like, come and help me. She doesn't have a gap right now. We'll sort it out. It's sitting slightly lower, like ever so slightly lower. It's like four fingers in there versus maybe seven previously. I know measurement's pretty crappy, but the back sits a lot lower than the front. I think it looks a lot better than what it used to. Also, like previously, I could I could literally go like this and I could bounce the car. Like right now, it is bouncing up in a little bit. If I do it to this car, this thing don't move at all, like nothing. It's like a pile of bricks. Like, like this, I can get it to bounce. But not as bad. i got to put a lot of force into this. Previously, with the old suspension, I could bounce this thing up and down. Like, properly up and down. So what I wanted to talk quickly, vents are done. Uh, change these things out. I put silver ones in. I think I, the blue looked a little bit tacky with the anodized blue. I just got some spray paint, black spray paint, and <laughs> spray it all over here. Uh, this one got damaged a little bit. I need to sort that out. That one's perfect. Like really, really good. So why I got the blue spray paint is really for this. This was looking really poop where I, where I filled it up. So now that I've just run it with some almost matching blue spray paint it looks better i mean I'm, the car's gonna get resprayed anyway i figured why not oh hang on i need to show you guys something check this out it's complete kind of uh i'm lacking hands yeah there we go Okay, that cable I need to shorten. I ran out of lugs, so I couldn't shorten it, so I kind of just tucked it in the back there. That one I need to pin down. But that thing's in. That's mounted and properly. This is mounted and properly. It's not going anywhere. Uh, battery is a little bit small. I want to get a bigger battery for the car. Um, and then there's my ground cable that goes in there. And it, it works. It works beautifully. Oh, there's my 1K filler. <laughs> I was looking for that. So yeah, battery is done. Check the front. Let's just move the car out of the way. Okay, that's really light. No, it's coming forwards. Bastard, go back. shit now. Um, that's like properly done. <laughs> I've repaired the whole thing. There's no lights in the front or back. Where are we? We're in the back of my garage right now. The front of my garage. Um, yeah, I fixed it all up. It's been painted black. Uh, it actually looks really good, but now I can't show you guys. I don't have my phone with the camera on. I mean flash. Oh, these are really old school. But I figured it's the right area for this car. We're getting there, we're getting there. I need to fill this up. Delete that. I've got the beading. There's the beading. Throw the beading on. 
And then I want to get this car spread. I want to get this car spread like in the next three, four months. Damn, it's getting there. I also want to get these in. So anyway, that's the progress in the car. Uh, lots to happen still, lots going on still. And uh, we may be getting a sponsor in. My inverter just stopped charging. Awesome. I may be getting a sponsor on, which is cool. <laughs> so let's see how that goes. I'm not going to let the cat out the bag just yet, uh, but some exciting stuff going on. Anyway, it's getting dark down the side. Who cares? Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.